Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But don't just sit there, my wee cream buns. Come on, let's get moving. We're going to play a game of crazy golf. Now, put this down here. This is our target. Okay, Stephen, you can go first. Right, ready, Stephen? Now, watch it, Megan, my love. Whoa! That couldn't have been better. You're fabulous. There you go. Oh, good shot, Megan. Right, well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But someone's missing from home today. Come on, Samson. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. Dr. Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and see Granny. That's the way. <laughs> come and say hello to Samson, everyone. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh. Whoa, inside crazy golf. That looks like fun on a chilly day like today. Oh, it is a cold day, isn't it? Oh, I know. Why don't you wrap Claude up for a cold day? Mm? See how many layers you can put on him. Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. And with Samson snug in his basket, why don't we go and cuddle up into the armchairs? Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up with the crazy golf, Granny Murray? Well, it's the River Sea Fingal Crazy Golf Tournament today. Oh, is it really? Yes. I'm going to take the children and Samson along to watch. Oh, you do amaze me, Granny Murray. Your interest knows no bounds. Oh, what do you mean? Well, fancy liking golf. Oh, why not? My Angus loved it. He played it in all weathers. He played in the sun and he played in the rain. Oh, with one of those great big golfing umbrellas. That's the one. <laughs> he even played it in the snow once too. <sighs> I've never understood the game myself. All that hitting of balls into sand pits. Oh, but it's good exercise, eh? All that walking. Mm, I suppose. <laughs> Do you know, Angus and I went to play golf once on a cold winter's day. He was carrying his golf clubs and I was carrying a picnic basket. And, oh, well, it was quite a long walk and I was getting quite hot. As you would carrying a picnic. <laughs> That's right. But eventually, when we arrived at the golf course, Angus tried to take out his clubs and they were frozen solid in the bag. Because I'd got so hot walking, I didn't realise how cold it really was. Oh, I don't believe it. Yes, it's true, you know. Sometimes it's colder than you think. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think Claude is in any danger of freezing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you won't feel the cold through that lot, Claude. No, we must remember and wrap up warm like Claude when we go to see the crazy golf today. <laughs> oh, have fun, Samson. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, Dr. Juno. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Megan. You take that golf ball to remind you of where Samson's going today. I will. <laughs> now remember, sometimes it's colder than you think. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to where today, cycling through all the city views, ringing my bell and singing my song, pedaling my way as I cycle along. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my cycling time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which 
Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my work clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. There, that will remind me of Samson having fun whilst I do some work. Four. Oh, Nurse Hendry, what's that about? Sorry, that's what you shout out when you whack a golf ball into the air. <laughs> oh, and it looks like somebody hit this ball a very long way. <laughs> Oi, that's mine. Granny Murray gave me this this morning and it arrived here in my pocket, not through the air. Granny Murray's into golf, is she? Apparently so. She's going to be watching the crazy golf tournament this afternoon. <laughs> well, I'll see her there then. What, you're going to be watching the tournament as well? Watching? No. Playing? Yes. I've got all my gear here and everything. See? Ta-da! Oh, wow. This is exciting. And look, you've even got a little woolly hat and everything. <laughs> oh, don't you wear this hat until I put a Harlequin Hospital badge on this. The badge will bring you good luck. Oh, thanks. Uh, you remember I'm knocking off early today? Uh-huh. Don't worry. Oh. Samson's gonna be watching Nurse Hendry play this afternoon. How cool is that? I love to sip in the Riversy Dingle, Riversy Dingle by the sea. I love to sip in Riversy Dingle, Riversy Dingle, that's for me. Oda, you need to keep moving to stay warm. So let's march on this spot and shake our hands. Now run fast as you can. Woohoo! And star jumps. Woo! Are you warm for now, Megan? Yeah. Oh, so am I. Oh, I hope Dr. Juno's nice and warm where she is. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but there's a friend of yours here and I really think you should take a look at him. OK. Who is it? It's Raymond. Well, hiya, Raymond. <laughs> What's happened? Oh, don't tell me. You fell off your stilts. <laughs> you slipped in a banana skin. You had to go up skateboarding. Doctor, you know, I really don't think Raymond's very well. Oh, um, it's very shivery. Raymond, can you stop shivering for me, please? <sighs> oh, good. Can you tell me what happened? Well... I was changing trains, but I left my hat and my coat on the first train, and then I was standing around for ages waiting on the second train, but without my hat and coat. By the time the train did come along, I was not, not feeling too good. Well, it's a very cold day. You're left outside without your hat and coat. I think you might have mild hypothermia. Oh. But the fact that you could actually tell us what happened is a good sign. Oh. <laughs> I'll get him something to drink then. Just some warm water with some sugar. I'll phone Tina and tell her what's happened. Okay. Well, you sit tight, Raymond. You'll be fine. <laughs> Poor Raymond. Left outside without his hat and coat. But we'll take care of him. I better get down to some hard work. <laughs> it's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be. I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights run up to the door. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh, yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all and smile I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take away your worries, yeah Nurses and doctors, you must understand
watching here and there to be here. Ah, oh, Nurse Hendry. Oh, how's Raymond? Oh, uh, Lisa and Tina have come to visit him and he's back to his usual chatty self. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, so you're off? Yep, off to the crazy golf tournament. Hole in one and the crowd go wild. Good luck, Nurse Hendry. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, Samson and Granny Murray will be watching you. Oh, my wacky dog. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, that's for me. That's it, my darlings. Eat up. It's important to get a good hot meal inside you before you go out into the cold. Keeps you warm from the inside out, <laughs> doesn't it, Samson? <laughs> he's got to keep warm too, even though he's got a lovely big coat. There we are, Samson. <laughs> we'll tell Dr. Juno what a good boy you are. <laughs> Right, Samson, I better get down to some work. Okay. Paper. Ooh. Paper. Paper. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. This is Nurse Hendry's woolly hat. Oh. I've been working hard all day looking after everyone, and now Nurse Hendry's gone and left his woolly hat. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At nine o'clock, I arrived at Granny Murray's with Samson. The children were playing a game of crazy golf. They were playing indoors because it was cold outside. At 10 o'clock, Nurse Hendry popped in to tell me that he would be playing in the River Sea Finger Crazy Golf Tournament. He was planning on wrapping up nice and warm against the cold. I borrowed Nurse Hendry's hat so I could stick a Harlequin Hospital badge on it. I thought it might bring him luck in the tournament. At 11 o'clock, we had a bit of an emergency. Raymond came into the hospital suffering from mild hypothermia. He'd been left waiting for a train without his coat and hat. He was cold and shivery and needed to be warmed up with a warm, sweet drink. At two o'clock, Nurse Hendry came to tell me that Raymond was feeling much better. Nurse Hendry left for the crazy golf tournament. At three o'clock, I realised that he set off for the tournament without his woolly hat because I had it to stick on a badge. Now remember, sometimes it's colder than you think. Sometimes it's colder than you think. Well, today may be colder than Nurse Hendry thinks. Well, I need to get his woolly hat to him because I don't want him to end up as shivery as Raymond. But it's a race against time. I've gotta do it, I've gotta do it. I've gotta beat the clock before the chime. I've gotta sort it, I've gotta sort it. I've gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, let the tournament begin. <laughs> I better get back to work. I hope Samson has a great time at the crazy golf tournament. Oh, well done, Nurse Hendry. Must be a lucky hat. <laughs> oh, Samson, do you want to go? Oh, never mind, darling. We'll be going home soon, and Dr. Ginny will be coming to pick you up. Dr. Ginny will come away in. Samson, look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes it's colder than you think. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now. I want to be off. Come on, Samson. 
Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in lots and lots of winter woolies because it was very cold outside today and we didn't want Claude getting chilly. Dr Juno came along with Samson. She saw that we'd been playing a made-up game of crazy golf. We played it inside because it was very cold out. I told Dr Juno that I was going to take Samson and the children along to see the River Sea Fingal Crazy Golf Tournament later on. After Dr Juno left for work, we wrapped up in our hats, scarves and gloves. We ran about outside for a while, but it was nice to come back into the warm. Later on, we had a good hot meal so that when we went to see the Crazy Golf Tournament, we'd be warm from the inside out. Dr Juno remembered that I told her, sometimes it's colder than you think. She took Nurse Hendry's hat along to the crazy golf tournament. He hadn't realised quite how cold it was without his hat and he was very glad when Dr Juno brought it along. He even got a hole in one. Good old Dr Juno keeping everybody well and warm. <laughs> I hope you're feeling well and warm today. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Come on and get on down to the city, the city. where the fairy boat sails the blue. Time to call on Granny Marie.